these strange and creepy TikTok videos around aliens may have you believing in those little green Martians. Okay, maybe they're not all little green Martians, but you get it. <laughs> Let's go. There have been civilizations far advanced beyond what we are. When they did the, the Mars images and they found that there were these obelisks and strange looking objects on Mars. So very ancient, but we're talking millions of years old, millions. It's been pixelated out for the public, but there are structures there. And I was out in California after I had disclosed this to some people, and a man came up to me from JPL, Jet Propulsion Labs. He knew who I was and said, Dr. Greer, here's the issue. You're right, those exist. We can't disclose that. I said, why? It's not an operational ET device. It's not, you know, it's old. He says, yes, but you don't understand how powerful the, that this information is. I said, why? He says, if this was disclosed, it would collapse the fundamentalist orthodox belief systems of every religion on earth. What? I said, what? This science and this evidence is being kept secret for religious reasons? He says, yes. How could that possibly be? How could that information be so great that it collapses every known religion there is? Is it because the information outlines our true existence, where we came from, how the universe started? Is it so far different than anything that we know? Rather, you believe in God or you are an atheist? It, it, does it go against both arguments? Like, what could that information be? It says, CCT footage of what really happened inside the Miami Mall. TikTok deleted my first video, what they don't want us to know. So, this is a portal of that Bayside Mall and what people proclaimed they were seeing, but I also heard that <laughs> this isn't real. I heard that this is actually something that happened in, in China or something. This is a video clip, because everybody in this video look Asian. I'm not gonna hold you, even though everybody got face mask on, that would also kind of point to the possibility of everybody in this clip being Asian and that this ha happened somewhere in Asia because I doubt this many people collectively were wearing face masks in the mall that day. And here's another clip of what's supposed to be some very tall beans. It, it first starts off with what looks like is a, a woman crouched down on the floor like something happened to her. And now off in the distance here, we're seeing what's supposed to appear to be these tall beings standing in the, um, in the foreground back here. But what's weird is nobody's really reacted to them out of fear and and now the footage is just shaking like this is unnecessary this is clearly something edited in my opinion <laughs> i got the hiccups y'all see this well anyway shout out to omar gosh because he made a video of him going down to the bayside mall in miami and he filmed what looked like could have been this area of the mall and you, you see the palm trees off here and uh, to the left and the right. But in the general area in his video, there were a lot of different flags right here that were hanging. And in this video, you don't see that at all. I seriously doubt they removed and put those flags up in that short span of time. But at the same time, this also looks like there's a second level up here when in Omar's video, it's very clear that there isn't a second level. So do i think that this clip is real just like omar said i feel like this clip is more than likely ai generated <laughs> y'all if y'all remember this is robert garcia the guy or one of the people from congress that were questioning the uh, whistleblowers in regards to the uap and the and extraterrestrial or the interterrestrial whatever you want to call them whatever they were calling them and this is what happened after this the, the what they call it the spiff you know where they went into that private room and, and furthered the conversation stuff that the whistleblowers wasn't allowed or wasn't comfortable saying out in public oh okay let's hear this and with the woman too the woman she came out and spoke as well we're gonna hear her right after him let's go i've been waiting for this okay. so, uh. I mean, look, I, I think that the bipartisan bill came out of a discussion at a first hearing uh, to ensure that pilots have an ability to uh, report UAPs. There right now is no system for pilots or aviation personnel to report UAPs 
whatever UAPs may be, and so the bill would actually do that. Um, obviously, we can't talk about the details of the, of the briefing, but um, I actually, I think there was some interesting information, and so I think that um, this is a topic that I think is a national security issue, and it's really important that there's disclosure and transparency. I think that's what the public wants. I think it's also a very serious topic, and so we've got to just take it with, with, with seriousness. It is, it is not a joke. And without giving up the state secrets here, we had a couple of the members who were just here who said they were disappointed in what they went bipartisan, the Democrat or Republican. But one member used the term that what they were exploring here were, per phrase, interdimensional beings. Is that something that we're dealing with here potentially? I mean, I think it's easy to be disappointed when you don't get all the information that you want, which I understand. I, I would have loved to receive much more information, but I think, I think that um, it's it's reasonable to say that uh, everyone that was in the room uh, received probably new information. I, I certainly did, and I think it's an interesting, um, you know, additional information to continue the investigation um, and ask more questions. So definitely have more questions than, than less does questions. That, does that term mean anything? I'm not going to get into any, any terms. I just think that it's more important to focus on that there's, this is a serious topic and it deserves um, serious attention. And I actually encourage also members of the media to continue covering this topic. I think that's really important. Um, it, it is not a fringe topic. It is a serious national security topic. Continuing the investigation. For, for him to continue to say that it is a serious national security topic, what is he saying? We know what he's saying. That there is some potential threat from beings outside of us outside of our understanding right for him to say that it's a a national threat a national security threat come on now <laughs> aliens are real is that more hearings is that like what do you what do you think well i mean as the ranking member of the subcommittee that's that oversees um obviously this uh this topic I would like to have more hearings. And so I think we've made that request already of the committee. And I think that the hearing requires um, more investigation. Who would you like to hear from next? Look, I think it's public knowledge that everyone, um, folks, this is a interdepartmental um, effort as it relates to the agencies involved in oversight and in the UAP conversation. And so it's obviously not just the Defense Department. I think we just as at the center of this, but also our intelligence agencies. Are you satisfied with the answers you're getting from the intelligence community today during the briefing? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would not um, describe it that way. It's, I mean, I, I understand that classification and is uh, is complicated, and I certainly want more answers. Um, but uh, sure, I would have loved to receive more information. But I would not characterize the discussion as not providing uh, new information and certainly interesting information. One of your colleagues said that they seem to keep sending people who either intentionally don't know or are intentionally not going to say, as opposed to, to just. I would disagree with that assessment. I think that you have, I think you have serious professionals that have long distinguished records in public service. They're trying their best to navigate a very complex issue, and um, and yes, it's true that that um, that I've, probably all of us want more answers and more information. Um, but I think that uh, that th we, we received additional information today, which I think will lead to other actions. Is this stuff that, overclassified? Is our over I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but I, I, I'd like it to be less classified. Did you think anything that bothered you. you or shook your beliefs? I, mean, I think I think we want more information. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yo, yo, the way he walked off is like. He, he feel like he's getting to a point where he might say something that he shouldn't say. I think it's incredibly important to listen to the specific words that Gresh uses. You know, Gresh never said extra terrestrial or alien. He said interdimensional. I think that that's incredibly important because those are the types of things that when we go in there, we, you know, there's just certain things that I think that it's important that you guys listen to on that. I'm going to get clarification. Yes, you more. said interdimensional. I mean, no. What does that term, is this something that bends time and space? What, is, what are you getting at? I think that Grush, when I asked, when I had talked to him on whether these were specifically extraterrestrials or alien in origin, he said interdimensional. He refused to um, address, use certain terms. And I think that's incredibly important because I think that that's really the question we're all wanting to know, right? And so I'm actually going to have a sit down conversation with him and ask him to come back and talk to us directly because it seems that we are getting more information 
from the source than going into a skiff and then not being able to tell you guys what we're talking Is this about. stuff that we just as humans might not be able to understand if it's interdimensional? I think that we can understand it. I think that it's just, it, it's an approach, right? I mean, like, remember, we just now for the first time in history really had Congress have whistleblowers come forward credible that we're telling the entire world that there is something other than human life forms. Rush said that those were interdimensional beings. He refused to use extraterrestrial and aliens. I think that's important to note. Bye. All right, for the record, let's look up the definition of interdimensional. The interdimensional hypothesis is a proposal that unidentified flying object, UFO, sightings are the result of experiencing other dimensions that coexist separately alongside our own, in contrast with either extraterrestrial hypothesis that suggests UFO sightings are caused by visitations from outside the Earth. I don't know about y'all, but that sounds like two different things to me. And I'm going to reiterate what that said. But but what it sounds like in my head is a universe that coexists alongside ours. And it also sounds like extraterrestrials that can be from outside of planet Earth. Which I would think that would mean that they're from a different planet than ours. So did I understand that definition incorrectly? If y'all think y'all understood it better than me, comment down below. Okay. This person placed this up on the internet saying that a uh, camera that she had in front of the house actually took a picture of this. That's crazy. If this is real, that's insane. It could be AI though, y'all. AI done got so dang on good. She said she had like a little trail cam that they used when they would go out hiking and that a lot of things were going missing. Her dog went missing, her cat, dog's neighbor, Then two months later, this is what she's seeing. What do you think, guys? I don't know what. What to is think. this? What is this, guys? Could be real. Could be great AI. This be true. How many cryptoids are out there? How many different species are underground? When they come up, what do they eat? Dolls, cats, humans? This is crazy. Or, Why is, or is it AI? So many cryptos are now being caught on camera like never before, trail cams video cameras, phone cameras. This is amazing, guys. What's your thoughts? What do you think? When they do their rituals, is always on a checkered board. It symbolizes the two dimensions, the dimension of light and darkness. Our dimension and their dimension cross Bohemian Grove, all these things that everyone talks about. That's what these rituals are to ball. And one of the most important people should study, one of the most important people is Aleister Crowley, the father of the American cult, bro. Walt Disney was his boy, bro. I don't find it a coincidence really? that this guy who's doing all this black magic and worshiping the devil and doing all this crazy being contacted by beings is by accident, bro. Jack Parsons is the reason we go to space. This guy, when he starts doing all his crazy, this is where you see that shift in technology also. You know, you've seen the chart of technology, you know, like we were like this forever and then it just went like this. Why these things are literally right in front of our face because we've been conditioned slowly, gradually to accept this satanic that is not normal, man. The demonic realm, they live longer than we do. They follow us, they communicate. Black magic is real. The evil eye is real. It all comes from this dimension that is parallel to ours. We know from Solomon that these species could travel in an instant and not only go to these places, but bring back material objects to him to build his temple. So wait a minute. If this don't sound similar to what they've been saying in regards to the aliens being, um, interdimensional huh this is the same sort of thing 
Like they're living in a, a universe parallel to ours, right? That they they're the ones that's giving us these technologies. This this sounds the same. So this also leads to the the belief that or the potential belief that aliens are also demonic creatures. Some people believe that. Do you? That's the obsession of the occult with Solomon's temple. A video has been recently going viral of what's supposed to be a giant climbing down a hill in Ilha do Mel in Brazil. The video was uploaded recently and a lot of people are associating this creature, whatever it is, with the one that was supposedly seen in Miami. I'm going to play the video and let you decide. <laughs> These are just these are just regular people. They're trying to get us to believe that because this mountain is supposed to appear so far off in the distance that for us to see anything walking on it that it has to be giant or alien like extra tall because they should look extra small or what what if they're just not that far from this thing on mountain the people that's recording that's what i'm thinking no they're saying it's a giant their eyes their naked eyes can see whatever this thing is much better than we can looking at this footage scientists at the european organization for nuclear research or cern as it's better known have discovered a way to open up an interdimensional portal. The Jack has collisions at an unprecedented. Uh, uh, uh. I think we're gonna have to put two and two together, y'all. CERN has figured out how to open an interdimensional portal. Hence the reason we've been having all this alien activity, because the aliens are like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are these? What are these humans doing here? Energy thirteen point six tera electron volt. And this opens a new era of exploration at CERN. This time, the discovery has been made by a team of physicists and technologists working on a large hydrogen collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator. In today's video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the secretive intergovernmental organization. One of the biggest scientific experiments ever conducted, bringing together over 10,000 scientists from 85 different countries the LHC measures over 27 kilometers in circumference and stretches beneath the Swiss-French border. Weighing over 7,000 tons, the LHC is so powerful that scientists were able to create the conditions that occurred one billionth of a second after the universe began. Other scientists believe that CERN may have accidentally opened a portal to an alternate universe, allowing beings or substances from another dimension to pass through into ours demons are uh, one explanation with some saying that sir you see the information keeps aligning with how the aliens are coming about and how the demons are coming about i'm concerned now y'all i'm concerned i don't like thinking about aliens as being demonic too i really don't like this i'm not happy at all and opened a portal to hell with the large hadron collider Many have drawn similarities with the book of... Oh, snap. They're saying CERN opened up a freaking portal to the heck. Now wonder. Now wonder all this stuff is happening right now. Now wonder people think the world is coming to an end. Budge Hadron Collider. Many have drawn similarities with the book of Revelations 9-2, which speaks of a bottomless pit that angels who have sinned when this piece blew out, it did with so much force that it ripped open the fortified cockpit door 26 rows ahead of it. 
It was so strong it ripped the shirt off a passenger's back. And now we're learning on at least three incidents leading up to this one. There were pressurization alerts that pilots received. It was so concerning, Alaska said that newly built plane shouldn't be able to fly over water. Our first look at the crippled Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9. Investigators say damage like this mangled seat has been found in nearly every row. A loud boom or almost like a mini explosion um, happens abruptly. It was a 63 pound piece of the plane known as a plug door blowing out at 16,000 feet, leaving a gaping hole, forcing the 171 passengers and six crew to don oxygen masks. Alaska, crippled That's insane. Saturday, the FAA grounded all 737 MAX 9s in the U.S., 171 of them for further inspections. Boeing says it fully supports that decision and safety is our top priority. Wait, what was the date that that occurred? Because if that was the same date that the Miami alien incident happened, then it would have made sense as to why airlines were at a standstill for a while. Like there was there was no planes going in or out. Huh. I went on a Tinder date and he was possessed by a demon. I was like, where are you from? He's like, I came down here as a star and I- Morning star. I'm like from space. I all of a sudden just asked him like, where do you stand with God? And he just got really serious. And was just like, don't ever ask me that question again. And he was telling me, yeah, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I see this dark figure and I actually like it. I started speaking to him about scripture. He's just getting mad coming back at me with reasons why that's not possible and reasons why whatever he worships is more valid. He's possessed. My best friend, while she's as the door creaks behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and close it right quick, cause that's weird. Hold on. Oh, I got a little arm extender. Lock it too. Y'all can't see me locking it. That didn't work. The locking part, that didn't work. Back to, back to her. Like in the bathroom doing her makeup, I was like, oh my God, I have this video of the guy. And I show it to her and she instantly just falls to the floor and is having like a full on panic attack. And she's what? just like, oh my God, I know, I, I've seen him before. I've never seen him in person. I've been having this reoccurring dream every single night for the past like week. And she said, and it, it's like a sleep paralysis dream where I feel like I'm awake. And it's literally him standing at the end of my bed and his eyes becomes like two black holes that I'm just looking into. And it's been happening every single night. Two black holes. Listen up y'all, there are beings that is walking this earth and they are not human. So we just heard from the other girl. I just came from Kroger's. I just got off of work. I went to go pick up a few items y'all. I go to the bread aisle. Now the bread aisle is super long. I'm at one end of the bread aisle. There's a guy that's about three, four for the way down in the bread aisle. He got a cart. I got a cart. He's looking at me. And you know how you can see out your peripheral that somebody's staring at you. He ain't just looking, but he's staring at me. I kind of look his way. He's still staring. I go ahead and I get my bread. I go back around the other way because I'm going to the international aisle to get some pasta and some other stuff. While I'm in the international aisle at one end, this guy comes around and he's at the top of the same aisle. I see him still looking at me. Now, mind you, there's a couple of things that I need to get out of that aisle. So the first part of the aisle, I grab what I need to grab and I go about midways down. He's at the other end. So he's staring at me still. So I kind of look at him and I go like, how do you give somebody that type look? He's still staring. So I'm looking for what I'm looking for. I can't really find it because he's throwing me off because he keeps staring. Mind you, this man don't have nothing in his car. He's not even turned to look at any food. He's looking directly at me. By this time, I'm like, you know what? I'm not on it. I'm about to just stare you down. So I turn to look at him. Y'all, when I tell you, this man stared at me and his eyes turned black. Everything in his his whole eyeball, not just the pupil, but the white part, 
turn completely black. What? Just like the other girl said. He looked, it said black, and then he walked away. When I tell you I left that car sitting in that aisle, I didn't even buy nothing from Kroger's. That's I left crazy. out and I came home. There is stuff. There is beings that is walking in this earth and they at the store, they at whatever, they look like us and everything else, but they are not human. I don't even know what to say. You know what this reminds me of? On the airplane lady. Those people aren't real. No one's been able to track her down, oh, right? No. She just popped up this past week on TMZ. It's basically her just saying, I apologize, I shouldn't have done that. When I saw it, I was like, that doesn't look like her. We didn't know who she was for the first couple of weeks. Like they couldn't even find a name. She started a new Twitter account when she posted this video. The first person she followed was TMZ. So people started doing like some AI face detection. There's this guy that does it online professionally and he says, if you get a score 0. 0.6 or below, it is the same person. He put videos that were on the plane, videos that were outside the plane of the real Tiffany. And it's not her. 1.2. Guys, like, <gasps> I was not expecting this. He's wow. like, this makes me really interested. One other dude checks her IP address from the video. Okay, guess we're tracked to. TMZ headquarters. Place Texas. Two blocks away from the White House. Washington, D.C. Right I, now. Did, did she see something? Weird. And then they put in a double. Be like, this was so embarrassing. Yeah. I'm telling uh, you. Right now. now. That there are things out here walking amongst us that aren't of us, that aren't us, but look like us. Our real shirts are still available right now in limited sizes on the website. Link down below. <laughs> now, the reptilians have a mindset that's very different than what humanity has. Reptilians believe that they are superior to all others. One of the reasons is they are androgynous. They have male and female in the same body. And since this is representative of what exists outside of physical reality, where there is no male or female gender, it's just energy, they consider themselves superior for bringing that type of information to physical reality. Wait a minute. Are the reptilians pushing, pushing, are the reptilians pushing this agenda? This non-binary agenda? Trans and all that other stuff? Is it the reptilians that's doing this? Trying to get us to think and believe that there can be one or multiple or... Wait, you know what? I, don't even, I ain't even trying to go there no more. You also note, based on observing creatures on the Earth right now, that reptilian forms do not even over death over eons or millions of years, they basically stay the same. And if there's a change, they just out. Whereas mammalian forms need to adapt and evolve as there are changes occurring in their environment. So to the reptilian mind pattern, they're superior because they don't need to change or adapt. Therefore, they're completely perfect as they are. That's the mindset. It's not right, it's not wrong. It's just the way they think. Mm. Reptilian and mammalian species should not uh, occupy the same environment they they don't belong in the same cage if you will wait what's the mammalian i ain't never heard that phrase before what's a mammalian well, i looked at the definition it means related to or denoting a mammal i still don't understand quite what that means whatever what in the UFO sighting is this? Aliens! I like it. Look at that, y'all. I'm calling Cap for one. This, this don't look real, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, yo, you know what this could be? This could be AI generated, right? To look old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This could look like it was made to look like footage from 2010. Because whatever these lights and stuff in the sky are, they're definitely behind these telephone um, poles, telephone lines, but maybe the telephone lines aren't real. You know what I'm saying? Alien. Alien. I like it. Yo. 
Look at that. Now the other thing to move closer. He's going back and forth between the two. That's cool. I wish this was real. That'd be amazing. But wait, hold on. You saw the way it zoomed in? Just well, Yeah, what if this is real? What if this is real? Ooh. What is it doing with the lights, man? How is it that this wasn't recorded by like 511 people? Crazy UFO site captured in the Alaskan mountains on the best, one of the best sightings I've ever seen. That thing looked like a freaking frisbee. <laughs> Yo, the top looks like the bottom, but darker. Other way around. The bottom looks like the top, but darker. Apronto chegaram do Brasil. This is hands down the best UFO sighting on camera. Was this in Brazil? Ooh, it hid behind the clouds, y'all. If you're a true believer like me that aliens are indeed real, go ahead and copy one of the aliens of real graphic tees available right now on the website and you're gonna see my autograph right there. <laughs> Artofkicks.com, link down below. Let's continue, these are fun. President Ronald Reagan in 1987 said something that towed the line between deeply prophetic and deeply weird. And he said it at the United Nations. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. Hey, I don't think he was aware of some of the things that we're aware of now. Because I don't think it'll be the same sentiment today. No siree. No siree. I feel like now the powers that be are either thinking we're ready for war with these beings from another dimension. Because that's what they're saying now. Or we're ready to accept y'all as our new leader. But not for us to unite as, as mankind. It makes no sense. Ronald Reagan wishing an alien invasion on Earth because of the kumbaya effect it would have on relations among nations. One of the truly weirdest things he ever said in public. Also, it's kind of coming true. That story's next. Whoa, whoa, she can't just end on that cliffhanger talking about it's kind of coming true, huh? What you know we don't know, woman? That's amazing. <laughs> Cloud pattern right above. They fire the, the boxy settling blast up there to disturb the cloud pattern and disrupt the hail. That's so crazy. This is the first time I'm ever seeing the instruments that are supposedly used to change weather behavior, to change what the weather does. They're supposed to be predicting that a, a hailstorm was coming, but this is supposed to stop it? What? Incredibly loud. <laughs> Rocks my whole pickup, it's so loud. Wow. People were absolutely terrified when they started to notice how small food has gotten recently and how high the prices have been, with reports saying the greed of those corporations are costing people their lives. One TikToker went to the supermarket to find a fully unopened bag of chips that was less than a fourth filled. There's like three chips. Bro, man, I went yesterday to go buy a bag of chips and I noticed the same thing. I was like, yo, there's hardly any chips in this big old bag. They could have made the bag way smaller. There's three chips in the whole bag. Others have gone to McDonald's to notice how small the fish sandwiches have gotten to a Big Mac being the size of a slider. <laughs> yo, look how small that is compared to this man's hand. That is not a Big Mac. That's a small Mac. <laughs> making this seemingly the smallest food has ever been in recorded history. Why? This is supposed to be a Big Mac, not a medium Mac. It's not even a medium Mac. Not a little Mac. It's, With BBC it's a small Mac. Reporting that this shrinkflation will never end and only worsen. With studies saying the shock we feel now is here to stay, even if the economy improves. However, companies deny shrinkflation completely. And of course they did. Claim they are all working on bigger portions. But do you think that's true? Working on bigger portions 
that doesn't even make any sense. If anything, they should be working on getting the portions back to where they were and then making them bigger from there. <laughs> y'all gonna make us feel and believe that y'all have made portions bigger when all y'all did was go back to the way that they were? We're not stupid. We wasn't born yesterday. We might have been born at night, but it wasn't last night. Remember that. The apocalypse of the bells. Starting around the 1600s, there seems to have been some sort of worldwide decree to destroy church bells in places as far apart as Chicago and Tibet. These bells are huge. During the German occupation of Europe in World War II, unprecedented confiscation and wow, look at all them bells. destruction of these bells took place. In Western Europe alone, over 150,000 church bells were melted down by the National Socialist regime. 90,000 of those bells were from Germany itself. The common belief is that the bells were required to be melted down for artillery, but in many circumstances, the bells seem to have been simply destroyed, shot with cannons, or blown apart with explosives seemingly for no good reason at all. There seems to be an entire mythology or perhaps an inside joke surrounding these bells. Like the famous crack in the Liberty Bell or the hole in the world's largest bell, the Tsar Bell. What is going on here? For those of you that don't know, the theory is that the vibrations that come from those bells had healing properties. So if that's true, then there would be little to no need for modern medicine. It's said that everything and everyone on this planet is connected. That nothing is still and everything is moving because of vibration. If you look at a piece of metal through a microscope, to the finest point you will see that that metal isn't still, but it is moving. But it just so happened that it's moving in a way that it can create the shape that it's currently in. Nothing is still, everything is moving, everything is connected through vibration. Wow. That would terrify me. There's no way I could be this close. Who's recording this right now? Yo. Snow geese. I thought birds migrate when they get cold. What would they? Nah, I know they're not going to no snow. This is amazing. Dang, is this every snow geese all in one place at the same time? They fall, they fly together? It's crazy. That is crazy. We take in how crazy this is. This is the future of grocery shopping. The scanner and everything. Just grab something, literally scan it. And uh, look, they don't want to pay cashiers no more. Placing cart. Crazy. And if you don't want it, you just kind of delete it. Take it out of the cart. And it reads that you took it out of the cart. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, so time to check out. Wait, hey, hold on. Is she gonna have bags when it's time to carry all that stuff out of the store? I've never seen nothing like that. Oh dang, this is New York and the sky's blue? Project Blue Beam. It says, a mysterious blue light was seen in the sky of NYC tonight, similar to the one seen in 2018. Oh dang, this happened before. Yo, what in the world? Man, my man's recording it too. Nah, man, what's going on with this? Is this Project Blue Bean for real? I know every time I post a video, anything remotely similar to this, people be in the comments. Project Blue Bean, Project Blue Bean. Oh, 
damn, that scared me. Oh, it went off. How does sky just go off like that? How would it went off like that? That was not natural. What the is that? Right, so I keep seeing these videos, right? Oh, the earth, or part of the ground swelling. I um, just don't understand Whoa. what that could be. I mean, right now it looks like a ginormous brownie. Makes me kind of fun freak, but That's crazy. on a serious note, when have you ever seen the ground swell like this? I like want particular. And it happened so quickly. Location, like I'm thinking, first pipe underground, perhaps, nah, or a bit so. unusual, considering that's like an actual little lake in India, isn't it? Earthquake, perhaps. I mean, I'm. I don't live near where earthquakes happen. It don't even look like an earthquake occurred. It just looks like the ground is swelling up and just crumbling underneath this water. Just what could cause this? So if anyone has any idea what this could be, please give me a comment to let me know. The fact that the dude is sitting here actually recording this makes this that much crazier. What if I told you that escalators do not exist and that they are actually an illusion that our brains force us to accept? You'd call me crazy, right? You're crazy. Hear me out. In okay. everyday life, we use escalators, going to the subway, airport, the mall, even the movies. These places that we love, they all have escalators. But there's also a sinister side that may be lurking within these moving metal stairs. Mm -hmm. In 2012, theoretical physicist Dr. Ligma Bowles came... If you were going to give him a chance and listen to his theory and with, with an open mind, right? that maybe what he's saying is true in regards to escalators not existing, go ahead and throw that idea out the window. Go ahead go ahead and throw that thought out the window. He just said this doctor's name was Dr. Ligma Balls. <laughs> ah! Oh, snap! Yo! Yo! Oh! Man, the AI, the AI generated crap that's on TikTok, man, be killing me. Dr. Ligma Bowles. <laughs> oh, 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 snap, I'm weak. My head fell off again. <laughs> yo, yo, I swear. Oh, man. Physicist Dr. Ligma Bowles came to the conclusion that escalators are not tangible, but rather elaborate illusions created by the collective subconscious. According to his whimsical theory, when people approach what appears to be an escalator, their minds collectively generate a shared hallucination, creating the sensation of ascending or descending effortlessly. Mm. What's your thoughts on this theory? Is it possible that we all are moving through frequencies by just using one part of our brain? Or is this a load of balanay? Let us know below. Balanay. It's baloney. What's also crazy is if you guys are fans of this channel or fans of TikTok, especially the conspiracy theory sector, then you should be familiar with that voice. They took the voice of, I can't remember the name of the podcast, but the podcast with the two Asian brothers on there and the one that's always sitting on the left side, that sounds exactly like him. But it sounds like they took his voice and put it in this AI generator and and fed it some words so that it can sound like him telling this story for the algorithm to get this video pushed. And it worked because I got a hold of it. I ain't watch it though. <laughs> oh my God. Now I wish I had. Oh, look, it's the brothers that I'm talking about. Like that, um, that one world order stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Where's him? This right here on the left. This is the one. That's, that's who that freaking AI junk sounded like. 
you've seen like that um that one world order stuff right yeah yeah where it's like uh the aliens are gonna come in there's gonna be a, a god that's supposed to be a god the that, antichrist that, yeah the antichrist that, that's, that's that's actually in in the book of revelation yeah yeah which is crazy there's supposed to be like a false prophet there was this girl at like uh, a grocery store she's like oh i'm gonna be the first one to pay for my groceries through my hand and she goes like this and she goes over the scanner she goes and it goes bing, bing. So i think in the book of Re revelation said something about how you should never sell your body uh, to do that stuff. Once you do that, you're actually like it's it's oh super that's bad. the that's the mark of the beast, right? The mark of the beast, that's yeah. Say, the yeah, mark yeah. of the beast. So it's like that stuff, this new technology. That's that's all it is. There's a lot of sh that's in the book of Revelation that's kind of popping up right now. Yeah. Especially like the fires and stuff. That's mm. a that's a huge one. Yeah, it's it's yeah. real, bro. Everything's being predicted. I I really feel like culture kind of imitates, or no, almost predicts real life. Mm. Like pop culture mm. predicts real life what happens. It's like how would they get um the message out through the kids? Like that's the easiest way. Like yeah. Ever heard of Dicinian? No, what is that? So Dicinian is a black listed element and I think just like a material found naturally in the world. Yeah. If you try Google Dicinian glass, mm -hmm. you can't find it anywhere. There was this scientist, yeah. he discovered that using Dicinian, it's like a dye. Yeah. You get it naturally and you turn it into a dye and you put it into like a glass mixture and you can use it to make like glasses and, and shields and stuff like that. He ended up making these glasses called Dicinian glasses. Okay. This is how they prove there's such thing as a human aura. With these glasses, yeah, yeah. you know how our eyes can only see, um, we can only see a certain frequency of light. With the Dicinian, it shows just like how a different animal, just like how I think bats can see certain, certain yeah. frequencies of light. You're able to see like an aura of a person, an aura of a person, apparently spirits. Whoa. No lie, I feel like those glasses would be useful to have because you will be able to see <laughs> the true aura or the true essence of an individual rather they have dark energy around them or positive energy i would use it for good what would you use it for if you had those glasses comment down below oh snap oh yo what the freak of nature literally this is a freak of nature. Yo, that bear could have caused so much damage, even though it was a bear full of air. It still could have caused a whole lot of damage if it landed on somebody like that. I'm pretty sure somebody got hurt. All right, the stage collapsed and the debris flew through the air. What? Where is this? Argentina? Okay, guys, I want you to watch this video. You can make up your own mind. I always give anybody the benefit of the doubt. You know, you don't need to believe everything everybody says. You know, it's it's hard to know who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. It's hard to build up that credit of people. This is true, but what's, what's funny is uh, <laughs> a guy with secret knowledge come forward says Miami aliens are real for entertainment purposes only. For entertainment purposes only, but yet... Miami aliens are real. Gotcha. Will they trust you with anything? I saw this video. A uh, friend of mine sent it to me, and I want you to watch it. And if this is true, this is fascinating. This is news that people need to know. And I really respect a person that can come forward and put himself on the line for everybody else. Check it out. This could be for entertainment purposes, or this could be really coming from my heart. This is up to you to judge. So I'm going to tell you right now. My name is Thomas LaRock. I have been recruited by the United States government, and I'm talking about um, a shadow agency that technically does not exist. Um, to all you who are listening and watching with your eyes, um, pay very careful attention to me and judge me on your own. I mean, I, I am American, and um, I am a lot like most of you, I don't believe what people say, but I believe what I see and I hear and I know. And I'm telling you from my own personal experience, I'm just like you. And I'm coming forward as a patriot, knowing that this video could get a lot of traction and it could get me killed. Okay. So what I'm about to tell you is uh, a shadow government has recruited me. I do technically still work for them. Uh, I haven't heard from them 
since November 11th. I have screenshots of our last conversation. Doesn't go so good. Um, there's other people out there that can testify on my behalf that I am who I claim to be, and I do possess set abilities that are unique, and they are what you can call supernatural. What I'm going to tell you is I know everything that's going on around the world, and I know everything that's about to take place. Uh, for example, I'm not completely for sure what's going on in Miami is or is not related to what I've experienced personally, but I have encountered non-humans, okay? I could go on the record and I can tell you I have firsthand experience and encountered with non-human intelligence. I'm going to say this right now. If non-humans are walking amongst us disguised as humans, then most of us probably have experienced some non-humans. I'm just going to say that. Um, you could call it extraterrestrial, but really I'm not quite certain. But I believe there's a darker, sinister thing to these beings. And they have contacted me and I have met up with them and they are very creepy and they are very, very intelligent, okay? They have very advanced capabilities and technology and I do believe that our government is definitely, most definitely working with these beings because I worked with them. I, I technically still do, I'm still employed. As far as I know, they have never fired me in the last I've heard from them. And the reason why I haven't received payment is because um, I'm still in my trial pro probation period. But I think that's about to break because I'm coming forward with this. And if I die, then you guys know everything I'm telling you right now is all truth. And please, if you're watching this, record it because this will probably be taken down. So if you're watching this, take this very seriously because it's probably going to be taken down. And if you try to look up my name, I'll probably no longer exist and they're going to probably try to silence me or try to do anything they possibly can to come against me with everything they got. But remember what I said earlier, I have abilities, rare type abilities. Well, they're well aware that I'm also protected um, by they know who, and we won't mention that right now, but I'm going to just tell you right now that the things that are happening in Miami, I wouldn't be surprised if it's something similar to what I experienced and that they are indeed non-human and they are indeed what some people are claiming they are. Is it just me or had this man repeated himself and just about everything that he said twice already? We still got almost three more minutes to this video. He better not repeat himself again. It's seven to ten feet aliens. Just telling you guys. So I have seen them with my own two eyes, these non-humans. I've been chased by one um, up at Golden Oregon. So um, I will make another video for another time for that if I'm still alive and well. Because we never know our health. It could take us, It could take a rare down toll you never know what can happen bro but, uh, if you don't shut up and tell us something that we care to hear coming forward and i'm telling you guys non-human are real i do work for the government it sounds as far-fetched as it as far-fetched as it may sound i'm willing to strap up to a polygraph with any polygraph examiner i will take a lie detector test and i will swear under oath Tell us something, bruh. You make me want to reach through this screen and grab you. We don't care that you will get on the polygram test, the polygraph test, and tell the truth for the lie. Tell us the information that you would need to tell the polygraph test so that it can determine whether or not you are telling the truth for the lie. That's what we care to hear. You ain't said nothing yet. I swear for God. I do work for the government. They are, they are the highest level. And I have proof evidence that they recruited me at least a month after I tried to enlist into the army. Bruh, 
you do not work for the government. I am about a million percent sure right now. Because you don't got one of these. If I worked for the government and I had some information that I wanted to come out and tell the people, this is how I would do it. Look, y'all. I know some sh They probably going to kill me for this, but I'm about to tell y'all anyway right now. Look, this is my proof. Here go my proof that I work for the government and that I know what I know. Now this is what I know. And then I proceed to tell them what I know. Instead of telling us three, four times that you work for the government. Ooh. I'm gonna let him finish because he might say something. He might say something. How we got another uh, minute and 45 seconds of him talking and he ain't said nothing yet. I swear to God, he better say something. He better say uh, July, I took my ASVAB. I did an FBI background check. And a month later, um, they recruited me. The way they did it was they actually followed me. They, they screened my calls. They screened my text messages. They watched my every move. They used satellite to see where I'm going. What in the world makes this man think that we care about how he got recruited? We don't care. All we care is the information that you are withholding from us. Wait, are you withholding any information? Because right now, you ain't gave us crap. We don't care. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. And they use people that are out on the field to take surveillance me and they've told me this that they're watching me and this is from what they've told me they've told me that i've uh rare abilities and not to share it with the public or show anybody and i'm aware of these abilities and because they have tested me and when they realized i seen what i can do and that they found out that what i can do they, that's when they came and contacted me because i was he told us about six minutes ago that he had rare abilities. But six minutes later, he have yet to tell us what these freaking rare abilities are. Oh, I'm, I'm irritated. I ain't never been so irritated watching somebody talk in my life. I was telling them their move before they made their move. And they're like, well, this guy's very powerful. This guy knows what we're going to do before we do it. And when they've tried to catch me, and I always knew what they were trying to do before they did it. So they, they, they discovered my abilities, and they told me one day to go show them. That's another video for another time. But for now, I just want to share all this with you guys. And if you want more, remember to like and share these videos so as many people can tune into this. Bruh, you ain't tell us a goddamn thing. All you did was talk about yourself. And lie. I'm not about to sit here and believe a damn thing you said. <coughs> Calm down, Art. Calm down, Art. You know how these these ignorant ignoramus can get. <sighs> Is this his buddy coming back in here to vouch for him again? I looked through his profile. And checked out some other things and um there's some red flags there's some red flags you can go do the same thing i did there's some red flags i'm not going to call anybody a liar or say they're lying uh, i will i most certainly you can't even show your face no more because you're ashamed that you vouch for this man you know i'm gonna let you guys make up your mind what do you think he's got going on i think he got some issues going on up in there he ain't say nothing of relevancy any one of us with the freaking voice and a camera can sit here and say the same thing that he just said he ain't give us no information yeah i i work for this um this secret agency um hired by the u.s government See, I just did the same thing he did, but I just did it once. He did it five times. You know what? Next video.
there are numerous, numerous alarming type beings do exist. To the point now the doctor told me and another doctor told me, they're at the point now that if we have seen it or read it in mythology, it's more than likely real. That's what I'm thinking, man. Because, I mean, what is the dog bag? They're a werewolf. And they're caught on trail cam. So how'd they come up with the first werewolf idea for comic or movie? How'd they come up with it? I guess it exists, man, because I've seen it on trail cam. How about, how do they come up with the shimmering effect for the predator with Schwarzenegger? How'd they come yes. up with shimmering? How come? How'd they come up with the shimmering effect? Um, duh. Every single one of our bad guys or bad creatures in comic books and movies, how come their eyes glow red? Where'd right. they come and I've seen that on trail cams, too. That, that ain't even true. That every single one of the bad guys eyes go red. Now they just making stuff up. Oh my God. What's going on with people? They they want us to believe something so bad that they just say nonsense. Interdimensional aliens and portals? Ooh, fascinating. How you doing? Not good. What's going on? Okay, Jeremiah, come out here. That was the night I called the police. We saw their arrival. It was in a teardrop shaped balloon. It was humongous. It was across the street, hovering two frequency sounds coming from it. It moved across the street and it vanished. Later that night, these appeared at the back of my yard. Now I'ma zoom in. Okay. For those of you who are saying, people are faking this alien stuff. You guys, my story is real. My encounters are real. They came to my neighborhood in 2021, and it's just been nonstop. Three houses they arrived to. Our, ours was the first house, a couple houses down, and then uh, further down the road because we heard the doorbell ring. I don't have a doorbell. It was some type of signal they gave that they were there. You understand what I'm saying? This is my security camera, you guys, picking this shit up. She just zoomed in to a tree. For those of you who are saying you don't understand what ETs are and extraterrestrials and interdimensionals, you watch my videos and you go, I don't see anything. If y'all wonder why I made that th face earlier like this as I'm listening to her talk, because I remembered her page. Y'all, I went through her page. Um, every video is like this, but every video is every creature known to man. <laughs> From gnomes to fairies to goblins to you name it. She has videos like this showing nothing, but yet something supposed to be there. I'm like, woman, how is it that you never leave home, but yet, in your backyard, there's every creature, mythical creature known to man. And do you zoom in on it? And there's, and everybody in all her videos, like, we don't see nothing. She's like, because you can't see them. You don't have the eye. She, she got the same issues that the last dude got. I'm pretty sure. I ain't even gonna play no more of this because these folks getting crazy. Out here. They getting crazy. And they're making me look crazy while they being crazy. See, now, I like this woman right here. This woman got sent. She real, real smart. I need somebody to bring me back to some sanity right now. Because I'm about to lose it. When, when I got this, it's not a good sign. Okay? Okay, gotcha. I'm sure you've heard the news of NASA discovering city lights on a planet 7 trillion miles away. Here's what happened. Seven trillion miles is just around the Oort cloud, which is a kind of icy shell of debris surrounding our solar system and the source for many of our comets, meaning that this is our backyard. Nowhere near far enough to reach even our closest neighbors. In 2022, there were articles about James Webb's capability of detecting artificial lights on a planet called Proxima Centauri B, which is a planet that orbits around here. But those articles were just about how that would work and how James Webb could identify them. There were then quite a few misleading titles from verified YouTube accounts, which is frustrating because even a quick Google search can do the math for how not far 7 trillion miles is. Some of the articles I found talking about it claimed that NASA made the discovery, but their sources linked to totally unrelated news or were like benign articles about how lights work. This I love how she's calling out the cap. I told y'all I like this woman. She's calling out the cap and she's doing it while much, much, much smarter than me. Got it. Love it.
sort of thing should bother us. Once that seed is planted, it's really hard to uproot. So click those links and use a calculator. As much as I want this to be true. <laughs> You see, she laughed at it as much as I want this to be true. <laughs> I be wanting stuff to be true sometimes too, y'all. But if it smells like and look like, I'm gonna call it. You did? I know y'all agree with me. All right, y'all, that's it. We're gonna end the video right here before these folks stress me out with this bull. Anyway, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.